Examiner is trying to figure out how Carolyn Jo Crawford died. Her fiance found her body early this morning in the so called tent city of homeless people. I'll tell you, your side has been covering the plight of the homeless in this area for months now. The city had forced many of them from the woods off Birdneck Road. Ted on your side's Andy Fox is here now with our top story. Andy. Yeah, Tom and Nicole, we've been reporting a lot about the movement of these homeless people. Crawford had actually moved to some private property along Birdneck Road to camp. After she was already kicked out of another area, she lived there with her fiancé, and tonight, she's dead. I wish I had one more chance to say I love you. Don Tuttle and his fiancé, Carolyn Jo Crawford, met four years ago at a dog show. They would live here at the Judeo-Christian Outreach Center, members of the homeless community. This morning, Tuttle called police to Loretta Lane, where he now shared a tent with Crawford. She was a very large part of my world, and I don't, I don't know right now. Crawford, a former nurse, was dead. Last night, okay, like I said, she, had a, she was having a little trouble breathing. She went to bed. Police would find out three weeks ago Crawford was in the hospital for a week due to COPD, trouble breathing. She had asthma. We both faded off to sleep, and then when I woke up this morning, you know, I went, uh, I went to, honey, come on, shift her, and... And she didn't, she didn't respond. So Frantically, I, Tuttle fumbled for his cell phone, but he knew she had died during the night. When I touched her to try to get her attention, I realized how ice cold she was. A hard life was over, and Tuttle can't think how he will go on without Crawford. Without her, I, I, still, I still don't know what, okay? I'm going to say that's why this man here called me and told me to come up and see him. That man is Tony Quintero, who manages the corner wash. Tuttle and Crawford did odd jobs around here for spending money. Quintero touched by Crawford's death, too. Well, she'd bring it back from her tent there and, and just give food to the people that are, that are needing that. And I'm very Christian about that. Tuttle and Crawford always had a rule when they left the woods. We had a rule. You never leave without saying I love you. And I wish I had one more chance to tell her. And I didn't get it. One more, just one more chance. That's all I need. It... Just one more chance to say I love you. Carolyn Joe Crawford was known in the homeless community as Mama Bear. What she did to get that name and how she is fondly remembered tonight at 6. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. And this